Hey everyone, so I'm back with another video and this one is actually a hair tutorial and I had a couple of requests on how I did my hair in my Disney Princess Tiana makeup tutorial and it's just really big, voluminous, bouncy curls. So uh, just a quick disclaimer, I am not by any means a hair person. I have never done anyone else's hair besides my own. So I know what works for my hair and what doesn't work for my hair. And everybody's hair is different. So some tips and tricks that I may include in this video that work for me might not exactly work out the same for you. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoy this hairstyle and let's get started. So really quickly, I'm going to go over everything that you're going to need. First, you're going to need one of these like little hair clips. And then you want a heat protecting spray. This is from Tresemme. And you're also going to need some hairspray. This is also Tresemme and it is the Tres 2 Spray Extra Hold and it's the one with the 4 right here. And this one is totally optional but I'm going to be using this Volumizing Mousse. This one's also by Tresemme. And last but not least, you're going to need your curling wand. Now this is the Pink Remington Curling Wand right here. This one is the smaller, skinnier one. I know there's a, a larger one to create bigger curls, but we're going to be using the skinny one today to create these nice, tight curls. And I have this setting on 356. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is definitely not the hottest that it can go, but my hair is pretty thin and fragile, so I don't want to use it on the hottest setting, just because I think that's a lot more damaging to my hair. So to get started, I'm just taking my heat tamer spray, and I'm going to spray this all over my hair. And this is just going to protect your hair from the heat that we're going to be applying to it. You want to make sure you comb through with your fingers or use a brush to kind of distribute the product evenly throughout your hair. And you don't want to soak your hair completely, like you don't want to douse your hair with this stuff because then your hair is going to be too wet and it's not going to hold the curl as well. You just want to make sure you miss the hair. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thumbs and I'm placing them right above my ears. I'm just going to section the top portion of my hair off. I'm just going to clip this hair off with my hair clip just so it stays out of the way. So I'm taking this much of my hair for now and I'm just going to wrap this around the curling wand. And you want to make sure you're careful if you're not using the gloves like I am. And I'm going to hold it right here and as you can see I'm leaving just a little bit of the tip out because that's the most fragile part of your hair and I'm just holding this for about 8 to 10 seconds. And then I'm going to let go and you should have one of these curls. And if you want to curl the bottom a little bit more, just take it, wrap it around really gently. Just like that. So now I'm sectioning another little part of my hair off. And I'm wrapping it around the curling wand the same direction as the first curl that I made. Just working on the other half. And I'm going to split this one into two different sections as well. The bottom layer of my hair is done, now I'm just going to take the clip off. If you have thick hair, then you might want to do three or four layers. And now I'm just going to repeat the whole process again. Okay, so now once you've got your entire head curled, um, I'm not going to do anything to my bangs just because you can see a little wave going on here. I did that yesterday with a different curling wand, but that's going to be in a whole different tutorial. So I'm just going to take my hairspray and I'm going to lightly mist my entire head. And then I'm grabbing my volumizing mousse. I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit and then just pop it right into the palm. And then you just wanna mix it together with both hands. And I'm going to place this right into my roots just to give my crown some more volume. And I like to take my brush and just really gently light it over the very tops of your hair. This way it just detangles anything on the surface and then it makes your hair look a lot neater. And that's basically all I do to achieve these big bouncy curls. And um, my hair is naturally pin straight and all the curly ones I've used before never really held the curl the entire day. They would usually just fall completely flat by the end of the day. So if you have hair like me and you've experienced what I used to experience, then I really recommend these Remington curling ones because even without hairspray, these will hold my curls 
all day long, no joke. So if you're looking for a really good quality but still affordable curling one, I think I got this for like $24, $25 at Target. You guys might want to check this one out. So I really hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, then just comment down below or send me a message and I'll be sure to respond really quick. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!